Hey, true believers, and yes, I'm back and I'm in the hoodie again. You know why? Uh, I guess I should put that down. I'm kind of having a bad hair day, but who cares? Um, good news from last weekend. Um, the Camarilla, the group I'm a part of, well, actually, we're called the Midnight Dance. We're really not happy about that name, but we're not the powers of be. Um, we have what's called Feature Games of the Month, and what that is is they decide, wow, well, let's take and we're going to spotlight a game in this area. Uh, and the chapter decides what uh, venue it's going to be, uh, what game. And um, they decided that uh, last weekend would be the feature game in Reno. And we chose Changeling. Uh, if you've seen, for those of you, uh, for, for the Unwatch who have not done part of the cam, not part of gaming, if you have seen Labyrinth, um, Pan, uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, it's, I guess it's an ongoing theme. Um, classic fairy tales. That's this kind of what we're talking about as far as changeling. It's a game of you were a uh, child kidnapped by the fae, uh, kidnapped by the fae, or a person who's kidnapped by the fae, not always a child, and you return to the human world, but you've been altered. How do you live with that? Um, how do you keep humanity from you know having to deal with the things that? Exist in the world that you know of. Um, it gets kind of it's kind of a light game, really, uh, compared to some of the other games of the Camarilla. Uh, but since we did a uh, a featured game, we also because the Camarilla is a civic organization, um, we raise money for charity. And I was a part of, of back home. We did Battle of the Bands. I emceed one year, which is great fun. Um, we did two years up at Southwest, and then Southwest actually, Southwest Virginia Community College stole our idea and basically did not want us back on campus because, you know, they were doing the idea then because we actually did very well at it. Um, really, really not happy with the way that, that college treated us. Um, but, um, what we did is we did a silent raffle. Uh, and we did well, we did a raffle and a silent auction. I'm sorry, for the in in game things, um, bonuses that your characters could have, things like that. Because I mean, while we do stuff for charity, we like to have fun while we're doing it. Um, our group also does like blood drives. Um, right now we're doing a blood drive and money drive for both the uh, Japan earthquake relief as well as. Um, you know things you know around the country for uh, places have been hit by the tornadoes. To know back home, they were telling me that FEMA has basically given the middle finger. Uh, that's what I talked about in my last blog about uh, you know for you know for this relief. So we're trying to do our part, and uh, we raised over six hundred dollars, which is amazing. It is amazing. Um. And that's what part of the reason I stay a part of this organization is because we do things like this. Uh, because sometimes it seems like it, the organization that should be are dropping the ball. So you know we try to help out as as much as we can. So yay, thank you to everybody who donated. I really appreciate it for everybody who donated money, for everybody who donated time to put the stuff together. Um, I mean, for everybody who you know put time to having I mean, to make these things, my character in Changeling is uh, part of race called the Wizen. They're like very uh, um, think Hoggle from uh, uh, from Labyrinth. He's what's called Wizen Brewer, which means he makes alcohol. He's an Irishman, his name is Fergus, and he made wine, in-game wine. No, this was held on on the college campus at the University of Nevada, Reno. So we can actually have alcohol there. Uh, not that sometimes we don't want it for some of the stuff that goes on. Um, but um, he made some some wine with mystical properties, and we auctioned it off. And uh, we came up with a bottle sold. Um, there were other things there. Uh, this a lot, of, a lot of game terms a lot of people wouldn't uh, know, so I'm going to kind of hold it there. But it was, I um, met some people from California, I think there's some people from Phoenix there, I'm not sure. 
Um, but we get a, a lot of people from there. Um, some of the California people want us to come up to game at their location um, in a couple couple months. Um, uh, we I did two of the three games this weekend. Um, Melissa, your wife, got sick, so we went ahead and headed home because she just wasn't feeling well. And I actually got hit with it uh, later on that night, but um, it, it was it was fun meeting all these people. Oh, what is going on in the world today? Rapture happened, and I'm still here. Oh, but of course, according to uh, according to the gentleman who predicted it, it was uh, it was a see, uh, invisible judgment. It's really gonna happen in October, and people killed themselves because of this, because they thought Rapture was coming. People give massive amounts of money to this guy, and he's oh. Oopsie. Um, no. How about giving some of that money back? Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So one of uh, L. Ron Hubbard said it the best. Um, back before he in back before he invented Scientology, he said, um, "I want to go into religion. That's where the real money is." Yeah, I mean, this camp. I think his name was Campion. Um, Put spent billions of dollars putting, uh, you know, messages on billboards on. Um, uh, see, there's RVs, buses. Uh, I think it was funny though. After the day after somebody put a uh, put up a billboard, kind of matching the same type of billboard he was doing, except it said, "Boy, that was awkward." And then a, a quote from Matthew below it said. We shall know not the day nor the hour. I mean, yes, it sounds like the rapture is basically going to be a pop quiz. You know, it's not like we're going to know this is coming. I don't think he's going to tell this. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. I think if it does come, this guy is not going to be on the upward going escalator. He's built people out of much, much money. Much, much money. And people who could, you know, who you need, you need it for their family. Of course, mind you, sorry, that was my Yahoo. Mind you, you know, we're talking about people who, yes, fool me once. You know, they made, they made, they made their own decision. But you know, there, there you go. Uh, they have, um, on a good news side, three people. Who have been who were arrested for um, three people have been arrested in a bullying case? Yes, thank you. Yeah, um, that's I'm a big, big supporter of anti-bullying laws. I've seen what it does to people. I've seen I know people have killed themselves. I know people have been close to killing themselves. Guys. Bullying is not just kids in school, um, as Anision, uh, one of the guys I follow on here, has said. Bullying doesn't stop until the heart stops for some of these people, and it's sad. It's sad that people can get older and older and can't get along with somebody without totally, you know, wanting to feel superior and beating them down. I mean, yeah, okay, I could be pretty I could be pretty hard on you know, like this this creature guy, yeah. But that's in response to something. I'm talking about the people that will go after uh, somebody because their sexual orientation or, uh, or the way that they look. Maybe a disease that they have. Maybe something that they like, you know. You know me. I let you know. I let my geek flag. You know, I fly my geek flag high. You know, I always have. And um, I was bullied in school. All through school, it kept on going through. You know, through high school, it happened at my high school reunion. A guy thought he was going to be funny and burnt my hand with a cigarette. Seriously? They're like. In her thirties at the time. I mean, come on. 
grow up. You know, sometimes I wonder if they should have a mental evaluation before people graduate. In other news, uh, my niece's house apparently got broken into. I am so sorry to hear that. It is, um, it's terrible. It's, people are, people make me mad. People really do make me mad. Hope you guys are okay. Hope everybody back home is okay. Uh, we got a lot of stuff ripping through the country now, it seems. Also, I want to say, it's time of the year for Relay for Life. Um, I'm put. Uh, my sister's already put down. Some, uh, has already done some stuff. I'm gonna be doing some stuff um, here. Uh, my friend Megan, uh, donating some money to her. Cause she's doing relay. Cancer's a horrible thing. It took my mom from me. I stayed with her through everything. I tried to be the best son I could. Yes, sometimes that wasn't the best. But we're all gr growing and trying to grow. Oh, I'll see what we at time wise. See if I can get anything else in here. I'm at 11 minutes. I got a little while longer. I'm on a bit more lighthearted note. Um, let's see. Anything big? Um, kittens are growing like weeds. Little Magellan is exploring the house. We call him Magellan because he's an explorer. And. Uh, I've got one book I've like been. I'm reading a book now uh, for me to talk about before the way of shadows by Brent Weeks. If you've not read it and you like fantasy, read this book. It's a nice take on the genre. I'm trying to go through it as slowly as I can because I want because I you need to pick up the next book. It's that infectious. Anyway, people, um, please comment, rate, subscribe. Oh, I think rates just thumbs up, thumbs down. Please sum it up. Let me know that you're watching this. Uh, anything you want to know about, personal questions, anything, please ask. I will say again, if it's rude, I will delete it. I mean, playful rude's one thing, but if you're being a jerk, bye. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to try to keep up with this. Um, next, I'm probably going to be doing a gaming report um, for my gamer friends. I'll be uh, the dice bag cometh, but. Uh, um, episode two. Uh, I'm just going to get some stuff together for that. Anyway, friends, family, I miss you. Um, friends here in Reno, I'll catch you in uh, two weeks. Faith manages. All others pay cash. <laughs>